that if you follow the arc of the radical underground of the 1969, they've been 40 years agitating with underground maneuvers, and now they have their man in the White House. That's what I said yesterday, and what comes out today is shockingly amazing. It shows you I can be prescient in addition to being comedic in the political arena. What I said yesterday was, follow the bouncing skulls. Go back to 1969. Go back to Manson. Go back to the weather underground. Go back to, go back to who? Who? Who do you go back to? Who? Bill Ayers? Mark Rudd? Go back to the radical weathermen? And then they had another name, Jones. Not Van Jones. No, we're not talking about that radical. But another, even more radical Jones came out today in the New York Post by Phil Kirpin that this ex-terrorist by the name of Jeff Jones, Jeff Jones, is even more radical than Van Jones. Jeff Jones, 1969, domestic terrorist in the late 60s, fugitive from justice throughout the 70s. And now, where is he now? He's a leader of an influential taxpayer-funded group. That's right. You're paying for it. Jones was a fugitive from justice for 11 years. His own account at his website says, quote, As a leader of the weather underground, Jeff evaded an, an intense FBI manhunt for more than a decade. In 1981, they finally got him. Twenty special agents batted down the door of the Bronx apartment where he was living with his wife and four-year-old son. And with Mark Rudd and Obama's good friend Bill Ayers, this Jones in 1969 co-founded the Radical Weatherman, which orchestrated the violent days of rage riots in Chicago, and later undertook an anti-government bombing campaign. Bomb, bombing campaign. He is not banned in Britain. Michael Savage, who is a talk show host, is banned in Britain. But the bomb throwers and the criminals are actually the czars of today surrounding the president. The pre leading Apollo's New York State activities. Listen to this. Jeff Jones was a domestic terrorist in the late 60s <laughs> and a fugitive from justice throughout the 70s. Yet now he's a leader of an influential taxpayer-funded group in New York State. Jones, Jeff, was a fugitive from justice for 11 years. He says, quote, on his own website, as a leader of the weather of underground, Jeff evaded an intense FBI manhunt for more than a decade. In 1981, they finally got him. Twenty special agents batted down the door of the Bronx apartment where he was living with his wife and four-year-old son. With Mark Rudd and Bill Ayers, Jeff Jones in 1969 co-founded the Radical Weatherman. Now, let's pause right here. Didn't I yesterday say it was 1969 that led us to Obama and 2009? Didn't I tell you that it was the radical communists of the 1969 era who are now running America? Didn't I do that yesterday? And by the way, Jones is still proud of his terrorist activity, saying as recently as 2004, to this day we still, lots of us, including me, still think it was the right thing to do. And what was that? That was putting an anti-government bombing campaign together. How do you like that? Well, now Mr. Jones is back to revolutionary organizing, but this time with taxpayers footing the bill. He's the director of the Apollo Alliance's New York affiliate and a consultant to the national group. How is this possible? By the way, it was Harry Reid who recently credited Apollo with helping write the stimulus bill and getting it passed. And yet the stimulus green jobs provisions funnel federal tax dollars to unions, green groups, and community organizers. That is the organizations that make up Apollo. So in other words, it's funding criminal activity. This is unbelievable to me. How in the world can New York State have an effort like this spearheaded by an unrepentant domestic terrorist who was arrested by the FBI? How is this possible? Read it. You're not going to believe it. But if you listen to me, you'll understand what's happened. We've had a communist revolution in America under Barack Hussein Obama. Savage.